Today we're going to speak about responsible pet ownership. I'm Linnell Dusterhoff and I'm the General Manager of Head to Tail Pets. Today we're going to speak about a first topic and that is can I afford a pet? Some animals can be more affordable than others. Considering going to a rescue shelter as more affordable option, you are saving an animal's life. There are two that we know of, Albany Animal Welfare and Great Southern Animal Protection. Consider your pet requirements. Well, we would recommend you speak to your local vet for your pet specific requirements. Things to consider are vet costs and vaccinations, parasite control, microchipping and desexing. But your vet will help you through a lot of this process. Consider your pet's needs. We will again recommend that you go to your local pet shop. Some needs for your pets to consider is their diet, bedding and housing, toys and enrichments, grooming and grooming items, accessories, treats, hygiene, behaviour, training and socialisation. At Head to Tail Pets, we actually have a DIY dog wash. That means do it yourself. This is a great thing to learn to do so that you can actually wash your dog. Other expenses to consider. Some other things you need to think about are shire registrations, boarding costs, cleaning supplies, puppy preschool and dog training and any licenses that you may require if you have a speciality pet. You need to sometimes ask yourself, can you care for your pet for the whole life of the pet? Questions you will need to ask. Are you allowed to have the pet at home? Are you renting? Think about any permissions required to keep the pet. Does everybody want that pet? Think about the future plans before committing to a pet. Think about travel or moving out of home. Also think about your work or school and general time commitments that may be directly impacting your animal. You need to ensure you have appropriate time to play and dedicate to your pet. A great option is fostering. Did you know you can consider fostering a dog or a cat? This is great if you're not sure or ready to commit to the lifetime of an animal. And think about it, you will be saving a life. You can contact Albany Animal Welfare. They will help you with many needs, costs, and anything you need for that cat or that dog. Have you considered household and garden dangers that you might have? Things around your home to consider. Is it a secure and safe environment for your dog or your cat or even your little guinea pig or your rabbit? Other animals in the home, they could also be a danger to the animal that you actually do buy or adopt. Visiting animals and wildlife into the backyard. So we do have some toxic plants and foods for cats and dogs that we need to avoid. If you look on screen, there will be the full list, but I'm going to mention a few common plants that are toxic to the dogs and cats. For instance, your peace lilies, your lilies, daffodils, your tulips, English ivy, and baby breath, aloe vera. But I'm sure a lot of foods that many of us didn't know about. Alcoholic drinks, certain mushrooms that are in nature, chocolates that many of us often give our animals, grapes and raisins, star fruit, and artificial sweeteners, as well as chives and onions, coffee, and other things that have caffeine in and macadamia nuts and mouldy nuts need to be avoided. Please always do your research when you do adopt, when you buy a dog or a cat or any animal. Like I said, go to your local pet shop, go to the Albany Animal Welfare. They'll give you so much information. But key is to research to know what you are going to get yourself into because these animals will love you. They will be give you more care than maybe you will give them. Remember small children always need to be supervised around animals. And lastly, I've mentioned many things that you have to consider with small 
animals, with cats, with dogs, but having a dog, having a cat brings us great pleasure and sometimes it's great for our mental health. It is also helps if we're lonely. So please consider adopting or buying an animal. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.